when we do start to do a lot of Marvel's designer, it is important for us to really start to get into that tailoring mentality, you know, that mentality of us looking at a garment and really thinking through, is this garment properly adjusted to the wearer or not? So you get to your first simulation. So you've imported this garment from ZBrush. You followed the reconstruction approach, I suppose, that we have analyzed and broken down for the last two classes there. And you do your first simulation and stuff like this happens. Now, it may not immediately be obvious that there is an issue here with this particular garment. So this is like version one or like a very, very early version of the Balthier shirt that I had been working on there when I was actually trying to stick a lot closer to the concept. So for those who do know what he looks like, uh, his shirt looks a bit more like this than the version that I wind up doing. So that was before I decided to just go freestyle and just do whatever I wanted there with the design itself. But this was following the approach of you make your sketch in ZBrush first, and then you import it inside of uh, Marvel's designer. And it's not necessarily immediately apparent that there are issues, but when you really think about it and you start to look at something like the back here, right? If you guys look at how tight the shirt actually is on the back, and you imagine yourself wearing a shirt that is as tight as that in real life, it would probably be quite uncomfortable because there is no space in here so that the character can move his body around. There is no space in here so that the character can turn, can twist, can bend forward. There's literally no space inside the garment to allow for freedom of movement. And that's a pretty big problem. That means that the shirt isn't fitted properly to the wearer, you know? Now, we don't necessarily think like that when we do character art in the sense that, you know, like we're not uh, tailors, we're not seamstresses, we don't necessarily think about that. But when we do start to do a lot of Marvel's designer, it is important for us to really start to get into that tailoring mentality, you know? That mentality of us looking at a garment and really thinking through is this garment properly adjusted to the wearer or not? By the way, this will make for a very funny YouTube video since uh, he is essentially but naked there, which makes me think I'll have to do a mature filter on this video if, if this ever makes its way to YouTube for some reason. But yeah, so this garment isn't necessarily properly adjusted to the wearer there. And so if we imagine someone building a shirt like that in real life or suing a shirt like that in real life, they would probably be ashamed of their work. Uh, because someone would put that shirt on and would be like extremely constricted, right? Uh, now, there's not necessarily a lot of people who know this, but if you press Alt 7 on your keyboard, you will have something that's going to show up here, which is called the strain map. And you guys can actually take a look at this. So this is the strain map, which actually tells you all the places where your garment is, is very, very, very tight, uh, where the garment is getting stretched, where the surface is actually getting stretched. And we can use that to really analyze the fit of our garment properly and really just kind of ponder whether the garment is properly adjusted to the wearer or not. Uh, so I can definitely take a look at the back here and you guys can see here, so all of this zone here, like the, the what we call the arm side, so the, the seam around the shoulders that pretty much every shirt has, around the arm side itself, you guys can see that we are essentially topping over 120% in terms of stretching. There is an extremely high amount of tension within those particular seams right there. And that combined with the fact that the shirt is quite literally, like it just visually looks very tight on the wearer, really tells me that this shirt really isn't properly adjusted to the wearer right now. So this is the kind of fitting problems that we really want to be fixing at this particular stage. After we have imported our garment inside of Marvel's Designer, after we have done our first simulation, we finally have a chance to really properly analyze what is the fit of the garment, whether the garment fits properly the wearer or not. Tatiana says Alt plus seven equals tension. That is right. Yeah, if you press Alt seven on your keyboard, you can turn on the strain map on and off, which is a very, very useful thing to take a look at on a regular basis. And certainly this is a proper time to be looking at the tension in the garment in different places. So, okay, so we have an issue with the garment itself. We have an issue with the fitting. Let me just show you really quickly where we are going with this. So we will be doing something like this here. So if you guys take a look, this is the shirt. You guys can see all the tension in the back. It's very, very tight. It doesn't look very comfortable. And what we would rather want is something properly fitted like this here, where the shirt isn't necessarily all that tight uh, on the back. There's a bit of looseness here. You guys can see there's just a, a little bit of looseness in the cloth so that the body can freely move within the shirt itself. Now, of course, this has to be 
take in uh, we have to take in consideration the type of fabric we are looking at. Of course, if we are working a fabric that is very stretchy for some reason, you know, like we are working with spandex, we're working with lycra, something along those lines. Certainly, some of these synthetic fibers. There are quite a lot of these that are very stretchy. If we are working with synthetic fibers, mostly, if we think our shirt will have synthetic fibers in there. You know, it could be fine for the shirt to be very, very tight or to have a lot of tension in there, you know, just based on the type of uh, fabric that we're working with, of course. But in this particular case, since I want this shirt to be made of cotton, cotton is not a material that has a lot of stretch in there. And therefore, this is clearly a problem that needs to be addressed. So, so this is kind of where we want to be going. We want to be going towards this garment here that's a lot better fitted to the wearer itself. Okay, so what can we draw? What kind of information can we draw here that's interesting? Well, first of all, let's look at our strain map. So let's do an ALP7. Let's look at the strain map, first of all. Let's look at how much straining there is on the garment. First of all, you can see that I probably already have problems that I need to fix. You know, simply looking at the strain map here, this is already uh, going at over 120% of stretching. So this is already a problem. And I can clearly see other issues. Uh, there are other fitting issues I would I would also want to address a bit left and right there. Let me uh, go ahead and change the color of this to a different color. Yeah, so I can already kind of see that there already is issues that I kind of have to address. As far as fitting is concerned, there there is already some changes that would need to happen. But if we just disregard these problems for now, right? If we just think about the arms themselves, like what's going on with the arms there? It's not clear in A pose right now that there would necessarily be a fitting issue with the garment, right? It's like, it looks fine, you know, like it looks fine to us if I turn off the strain map here. Upper arms, you know, they kind of look to fit. It's like, yeah, I mean, everything looks kind of natural. It doesn't necessarily bother us in any way, the result that we have right now, but there is clearly a fitting issue and truth be told, like if this was a garment that was created in real life, uh, she would not be able to raise her arms. There simply isn't enough loose cloth here to be able to properly raise the arms. It simply cannot be done. But we can't really see that when we are in A pose, which is why it's really good to, to do it kind of like that bit of the back and forth there between the different poses there. It's not clear that there is a fitting problem. But certainly if, if we were to use this garment in a context like, for example, how they've used it on the witness, it would be impossible for this to give us a great deformation under different poses and different animations if we don't address the fact that there are fitting issues for this garment under different poses than the standard A pose that we have imported this in. It is worth to pay attention to this, you know? Even if we're baking this out and throwing this inside of a video game, truth be told, like, this right now probably doesn't look natural enough in terms of how the cloth should look. We we are fully expecting there to be quite a nice amount of looseness here so that there is a proper range of movement given by the cloth there. We do clearly see that by raising the arms, this is when the problem becomes immediately apparent. Look at how stretched the cloth is here, right? Let's go back to our simulation tab. Let's turn on our strain map again and let's see how bad it is. See, this whole zone is completely red. This is totally, totally stretched. This is terrible. There is no way that this could ever work in in real life there. So what do we do about that? We need to do an iteration on this to make the fit better. So you really want to be worrying about uh, the fit of your garment. You want to be worrying about making sure that you are giving enough looseness in the cloth so that the body can freely move in there. You want to be worrying about that at this particular stage. After you have imported your garment inside a Marvel designer and you have gone through your first simulation, this is the moment where you want to be worrying about this. Before you start adding little details left and right, pleats, gathers, knots, seams, um, all these little details, you want to be adding them only after you have resolved all the fitting issues with your garment, you know? So it's quite useful for us to have this be this sort of low res ish at this particular stage and devoid of details. Because uh, if we move on too quickly to the details, then we will never be able to see the end of it uh, as it comes to editing this. 